Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and this video is using sketch blocks inside of Autodesk Conventor. And what I'm going to do is use these blocks to lay out the suspension on a small off-road car, very similar to what some friends and I did way back when in 1996 when we designed a Mini Baja for the Society of Automotive Engineers Mini Baja competition. So to lay out my suspension, I've got three blocks to find. One for the wheel and hub, one for the lower control arm, and one for the mounting points in the frame. I'm going to go ahead and draw up a fourth block, and this is going to be the upper control arm where I can go ahead and get this function before the form, get my suspension correct, and then model the parts in their full 3D environment. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the upper arm, and that's just represented as a line with two circles on the end of it, just enough to give me the uh, feedback I need and let me know that that's the the arm as I see it. So there's my line with its two circles and we'll give it a dimension to define its length because that's a really important dimension for um, our suspension layout. I'll select it and choose create block. Now I can give my block a name. I'll also give it a description And once I get that subscription done, or excuse me, that description done, I'll go ahead and I'll define its insertion point. Hitting OK, the block's defined. Now I can go ahead and position it using a concentric constraint. So there's a concentric there and one there. And now I have something that begins to simulate what my suspension is going to do as it works through its motions. Now the distance between the two wheels in the suspension is very important. That can affect the handling. So this is a dimension I want to track and I'm going to make sure it's a driven dimension. And what this lets me know is as I work this suspension you can see that the uh, width of the tire is going to change across the distance of the car. Too much change can have a bad effect on handling so we want to minimize that number as much as possible. What the sketch blocks allow me to do is I can edit these now and I could try different lengths and see what is going to give my optimum design. So I can maybe make the upper arm a little bit longer and see how that affects uh, that dimension. I can also go through and maybe make the, uh, the lower arm a little shorter and see how that's going to affect the suspension. In this case, you can see it looks like the numbers are changing a lot more drastically, so this probably isn't the way I want to go. But I have the capacity to test this out, make changes, get everything exactly the way I want it to. Once that function's right, design the parts to meet that function. So there's an example of sketch blocks and how they can work. And man, I wish I had that back in 1996. Thanks a lot, everyone.